Hey guys, I'm Craig and welcome to another episode of Friday Finds. Today what I thought I'd share with you are three things that I picked up this week. It hasn't been a terribly exciting week in the design industry that I picked up. The first thing that I found was an app called Speechify, which actually allows you to send a link to a URL or you can attach an ebook or you can um, take a photograph of pages in a book and this app will then go and talk um, will basically then go and read that out to you so Speechify will then go using artificial intelligence read what you put in front of it and actually read it to you and you can almost make an audio book out of it so i haven't tried it entirely but i have like played around with the app and i've seen the demos and it's quite incredible how it can pick up words and string a sentence together so beautifully but it still sounds a bit like a like a it's a robot or a program um but it, yeah i I think it's really cool. I like the idea behind it. The guy who did it actually had dyslexia and so he decided to build this app to help himself out. And uh, yeah, I, I like that kind of backstory. I think it's gonna grow and it's gonna become a really great app. I honestly don't have the attention span anymore to read. My attention span just isn't there anymore. I think I'm in that micro copy world so something like this would really help because I already listen to a lot of audio books which is how I get through so many books there's some kind of thing on, on how to actually I think it might read email or something which would be quite incredible because I know what it is to take my inbox and just be overwhelmed with having to read emails so if they can get be read to you I think it's really great so it's a free app there is a glitch on the website I haven't been able to get the desktop version working but it is free on the iPhone so definitely grab that. The next thing that I found this week which I thought was quite interesting is that Fantasy have created this presentation and the reason that I find this so fascinating is they're advertising for um, the role of a experience director they, they put out this keynote, uh, you could download it and basically in that keynote is the New York office who are looking for an experienced director are kind of giving you a little bit of background behind the agency and what it's like to work there and what's required of an experienced director and the CEO is inviting you to talk to him on LinkedIn. And I, I think it's a really good format because what a lot of people don't know is when you're kind of in this more of a leadership role and at this level of things you're not necessarily designing anything so you know that's not really your thing but you do use a lot of keynote presentations to present work back and so I just kind of I thought that was quite nice because a lot of people say well what do you do now and over and above the stuff that I actually do with people the most I get to do on a computer in a work day in an office is actually write and read emails and I get to put keynotes together outside of reviewing work so I kind of thought this was cool it's quite beautifully done I mean for me personally they were always my favorite interactive agency and it's just Kind of evident in their work how clean and minimal they are and why they are some of the best ui guys but they've now gone into like a whole other world but pretty amazing and this is like one of my dream companies to work for so definitely follow the link below and go check out this amazing presentation and if it's maybe an opportunity you'd be interested in i'm glad i could point you in the right direction
And then the last kind of thing I have for this week, which I think will kind of keep you busy over the weekend if you're not uh, out partying and doing whatever people do on the weekend. This isn't something new, but it's just somewhere I haven't been in a while and I forgot how amazing it is. The, it's a website and it's called Abduzido. Abduzido, like I don't know what that means. I could be Brazilian because I think the guy Fabio Sasso is the original guy who started it. He's a, a currently a designer at Google and um, he now has a team of writers, but pretty much the site basically covers things like architecture design, photography, UX, stuff like that. And he has basically daily um, inspiration. And the thing is, I mean, I've been doing the site forever. I, I think it was like 2006, somewhere there, that he actually started the site. So it's a really, really great resource for designers. I mean, it's not jam packed. You don't go there every day and you're like trawling through stuff. It's like he does these quick little like nuggets of like these are some of the cool things he finds and uh, yeah it's always good to look at other mediums and, and other forms of design and, and creativity that he was really great then and I'm glad that he's at Google. Um, he seems like a really cool guy. Uh, his site's looking really nice and minimal and I really love it. Uh, so yeah check it out. Hopefully you'll be inspired. And yeah, that's me. Uh, I'm working on a new logo at the moment and uh, hopefully I'll share that on Dribble soon. Um, and I guess that's pretty much it for this week. Um, maybe I'll post something tomorrow. Who knows, you know. I'll post a video every other day or so. So yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, leave a comment. And Every stay. day I go out. Every day a new route. That you know nothing about, no. Why always me? Hey, hey, wait, 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 wait. So, just one more thing. Something I wanted to ask is, I'm thinking about doing a Skillshare um, tutorial class, and and uh, I wanted to get your input. They've asked me to do a UX and a UI uh, course. I'm leaning more towards doing a design at scale course, which would include things like user onboarding, uh, how to operationalize an internal team within an organization, things like design systems and so on. I'd love to know what you think I should do for my first class on Skillshare. I've got about a month to put something together so yeah let me know your thoughts leave a comment below and uh, uh help me decide thanks Cheers. Ooh.